Hi, I'm Florence, and today we're going to be looking at how we can use a number line to solve problems involving durations of time. This is a really good tool because often, when children are faced with problems like this, they're tempted to use the column method, but that isn't going to work because there aren't 100 minutes in an hour, there are 60. So, in this problem, we can see that Matilda's favourite show lasts for 35 minutes. We know that the start time is 4.45, but we need to find out when it finishes. Children need to place the start time at the beginning of their number line, and we're then going to find jumps to see how much later the show ends. The first question I'd ask pupils is, how many more minutes do we need to jump to get to the next hour? And hopefully they can tell me that a jump of 15 minutes will take us to 5 o'clock. It's important that pupils label their jumps so they can keep track and see when they've reached 35 minutes. I've done a jump of 15, but to make it 35 minutes altogether, I need to do another jump of 20 minutes. And there's our answer. Matilda's television show ends at 5.20, or 20 minutes past 5. Here's another problem about Jamal. And this one's slightly different because as you can see, we know how long his journey lasts and we know what time he needs to be home. What we need to find out is when he needs to leave school in order to make it home on time. So for that reason, our time needs to go at the end of our number line and we're going to be working backwards. We can see that it's an hour and 29 minutes. A jump of an hour is a nice easy one. And again, I'm labelling my jumps. And that takes me to 5.15. I've then got another 29 minutes here. A logical jump to do is 15 minutes because children will find that much easier to break it down in that way. And that gets us to 5 o'clock. But that means I have one more jump of 14 minutes to do. And that is going to take me to 4.46, or 14 minutes to 5. So we know that Jamal needs to leave school by 14 minutes to 5 in order to get home on time. So there you have it. Hopefully, that's given you a good idea of how you can use a number line to solve problems involving durations of time.